For this problem, I'm going to show you how I got two different growth functions that model the number of squares in the nth figure. So, for example, if we do f of 2, which is this, pro this figure, we want our function to give us nine because there are nine squares in it. So for this function we're gonna start with what they all have in common which is a base and two legs. For our function of n we know that each of these is always going to have a base of three squares. So in the function, we can go ahead and write plus three because that's our constant. We also know that there are two legs for each. And I noticed that for each figure, there are one square for number one, one square right here, and one square right here. For figure two, there are two squares, one, two, one, two. For figure three, there are three squares, one, two, three, one, two, three. For figure four, there are four squares. And we can show that with the orange marker. This is showing that each figure has the n amount of blocks twice because there are two legs. We can show that with 2 in. We have left over one square on each leg. And since there are two legs, we need to do plus 2 because there are two squares. So that shows that the growth of each figure, for example, we can say f of 3 equals 2 times 3 plus 2 plus 3. This would equal 6 plus 2 plus 3, which when you combine is 11. And we know that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 squares. So this can work with, this function can work with in number of squares. And our second function I can show you, we're going to focus more on the legs rather than the base like the previous one. So each leg. We know that each, hmm, that each figure has the figure number, which it, this one would be one. We start with one block on each side. And then we have plus two squares. So for figure two, we have two squares since it's figure two, and we have two squares. Figure three would be the same way, so there's three squares and then plus two. And figure four, we have the four squares, and then plus two again. We can show these with different color markers as well. So figure one has one square on each leg. Figure two has two squares on each leg. Figure three has three squares on each leg. Figure four has three squares, four squares on each leg. And the plus two can be shown with a yellow marker. Each one has plus two. So in the function, we can show this with n plus two, since there is n, right here the orange, plus two squares. But since there are two legs, we have to multiply that two, and we're left with this center block. That's gonna be our constant for the formula and we can show that by doing plus one because each figure, each, any figure is gonna have that plus one in the middle if you look at each legs. So for example, we can do f of two 
equals 2, n plus 2, this should be a 2, plus 1. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, and that equals 9. And we, when we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there are 9 blocks. So this formula here can work with any function. So any function of n can use this formula and this formula. And that's all.